Hello everyone and welcome to my latest tutorial and today today's tutorial uh, features Tom Brady. Uh, last week he won his seventh Super Bowl uh, which is unprecedented and uh, I thought I would do a tutorial on something to do with Tom Brady and I've been inspired by Emilio Sansolini. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I saw this image of uh, Cristiano Ronaldo because at the minute, there's been a lot of debate, uh, especially this last week with Tom Brady. He's either the goat of goats, and uh, when I think about superstars and uh, their trophies, I, I uh, automatically think of Cristiano Ronaldo. And uh, I saw this image by Emilio Sansolini. Uh, he's a fantastic artist. Uh, if you've not come across his uh, Instagram page, I'll link it in the description below. Um, so I thought I would do some sort of tutorial similar to uh, to his work. Uh, but featuring Tom Brady with the seven Super Bowls. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. Now, this tutorial, um, I'm not going to be breaking down, explaining what layer masks are, um, what uh, blend modes are, etc., etc. Okay, I have done um, a tutorial before uh, featuring uh, like Bleacher Style report, uh, Bleacher Style, their Instagram page, and Emilio Sansolini. So that should be popping up on the screen now. Okay, just click on the top right for for a more basic uh, tutorial. But for this one, I'm going to get straight into it. So I'm working on a Mac, so I'm going to press Command N, and because it's for Instagram, I'm going to do 1080 by 1080, and I'm going to do 144 pixels per inch RGB color 8 bit and a white background, and click OK. I'm just going to get rid of that lock down there. Now, what I will do is um, all these um, stock images. Okay, I'll put in a uh, in a PSD file. Okay, and I'll link it in the description below. Um, I might put it in a PSD. Yeah, I'll put it in a PSD file um, because it takes time to cut Tom Brady out, which I've uh, which I've done already for you. So um, don't need to worry about that. So first thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to get gradient. So I'm going to go to my uh, gradient tool. Okay. And I'm going to change it to, I want a nice white color over here, go for something like that. And on this color, I'm going for this gray here. Let's try this one, okay. Uh, I want it to be um, to be round, so this one up here, this radial, that's the word I'm looking for, radial. Okay, I'm just going to bring it down there, maybe something like that, no. Something like that, okay. Keep coming back to it. Yeah, we'll go for something like that. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the trophies. So I've got a PNG uh, of the Super Bowl here. There's quite a few PNGs, uh, but I like, I like the look of this one. Okay, so I'm just going to resize it. Okay, I'm just going to place that down there. Okay, what I'm going to do is select my layer here. I'm going to call that uh, trophy. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to du duplicate it six more times because he's won seven of them. So Command J, Command J, Command J, Command J, Command J, Command J. I'm going to use that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fantastic. And what I can do is hit V for the move tool, and I'm going to position them. So I'm going to position them a little bit higgledy piggledy. That's the right word. So they're not going to be. It's not going to be um, quite far. Let me just get them out first. And we'll go that one, so the top one there, that's that one, put that one over here, and basically I'm just going to mess them around until they're in the right order. Okay, I'm going to go uh, with something like that. Okay, it's entirely up to you if you want to do it nice and uniform um, and in order, but uh, for myself, I'm not going to bother. Um, okay, so I was playing around with the shadows. Now, if you notice on this image, the shadows look all over the place, but that's because of the shape of the uh, of the ball. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, let's have a look. Yeah, I'm happy with how they're looking. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that layer there, so then we've got this bottom layer. Okay, I'm going to press Command-U. To bring up the hue saturation, so you notice that um, I'm just editing it straight away as a layer style. Um, I'm going to slide that brightness down to minus 100, so it's completely uh, black. So if you get rid of that there, you'll see what I've done to that one. 
And yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Command T, bring up my transform tool, and I'm going to go to distort. And for the shadow, I'm going to have it pointing towards this corner down here. So make it a little bit long. Go for something like that. I'm just going to position it. And it's important to get this first one right, and I'll explain why in a minute. So go with something like that. In fact, I'm going to make it go for distort again. I'm just going to make it a little bit longer, cast a little bit of a longer shadow. And I'm happy with that. Let me just zoom in in that bit there. And I'm going to press Command T again. And I'm going to go to warp. And it's just a bit that way because when I was playing with it before, it was so frustrating me. And put that on that corner there. Same again. Go to back to my warp. Just bring that in. Okay. Um, happy with that. Okay, that was... Um, it's just to get it. Uh, just touching the edges there, so it's uh, it's all right. You probably won't see it on Instagram, but it was just it was annoying me before. So anyway, we've got our shadow here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the shadow, Command J, and then I'm just going to click on it straight away, and I'm going to move it, and I'll do that back one just there, and I use my arrow keys on my keyboard. Yep, I'm going to duplicate that, Command J, and then I'll do the next back one. And it got it lock in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to position all the shadows down. Same again, Command J, and move it for each one. Okay, so as you can see there, it's all higgledy piggledy because of the shape of the um, of the football on the top, but uh, it is what it is. And yeah, I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to group these. So select the top layer of the shadows, select the bottom layer by holding Shift down and selecting the bottom. Press Command G to group it. Okay, and we'll call that shadow. Okay, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to convert this to a. If you want to go back and edit it, okay, you can duplicate this at this point by pressing Command J. But I'm just going to convert it straight to a smart object. And I'm going to name that trophy shadow actually. Okay, and what I will do is I will go to filter, Gaussian blur. Okay, so. So that's from previous. So if you go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur, okay, I put it on two pixels. Okay, different trophies might work differently. And I'm set the blend mode down to 85%. We'll go with something like that. And then what you can do with the, the trophy layers as well, select the top one, command G, and I'm happy with them. We'll convert them to a smart object as well. I, uh, I duplicate them before as well. I'll name that trophy. Keeps the PSD file uh, nice and compact. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is select this top layer, this trophy layer. should be selected. Okay, I'm going to hold down Command and select a new layer. Uh, in fact, I want it above, so I'm just going to drag it above. Just create a new layer. Okay, I'm going to clip it, so I'm going to hold down Alt and hover between the two layers and select it. I'm going to zoom in. And my opacity, I'm going to have around 25%-ish and go for a colour like that, 13, 13, 13. And I'm just going to paint some shadow on, make it a little bit darker. And this trophy works quite well because it's got the shadow on the side, well this PNG, it's got the shadow on the side away from the light. Um, that we wanted. So, let's paint some shadow on. Okay, you can accentuate it. Um, it's entirely up to you. Just makes it stand out a little bit more. Especially where it's going to be touching the floor. And, yeah, I think that's okay. So what I'm going to do is, I've got my shadow Trophy shadow, okay. Command T. And I'm 
just going to bring him down to roughly about there. Okay, what we can do with the trophy, because it's a smart object already, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, okay, and two pixels, maybe 1.5, maybe one. Let's have a preview. Yeah, we'll go with one. Okay, so there's our uh, trophies for the background. Okay, next we're going to bring in um, Tom Brady. So, like I said, I've already cut him out here. Uh, this PNG um, will be available in the description below. Let me just cut this out. So, let's shape him up and he's locked in already. I like the look of that. Compare the size. Um, okay, so these trophies were a little bit smaller, so Command T, just give them that sense of depth for something like that. And with Brady, I'll make him a little bit bigger. So I'm going to duplicate him, Command J, the bottom layer, Command U, lightness, slam that down to minus 100, click OK. Command T. Double click or right click if you're working on Windows and distort and we're going to drag him down in the same direction just pulling that shadow out same direction as the trophies hit enter now if you notice his shadow is not lined up with his feet so go ahead and use your arrows on your keyboard for that command zero and what we're also going to do is we're going to blur the shadow as well so let's convert it to a smart object just so we can go back and edit it if we need to. Go straight to Gaussian Blur there. And we had two pixels, didn't we, for the shadow. Click OK. And the shadow was 84, 85%. So we'll drop that opacity down. 85. Now what we can do as well, we can add a layer mask. Go to our gradient tool. Select a black and white colour. Click OK, and I'm just going to make sure it's uh, linear, not radial. I'm just going to drag out the wrong way. Drag it out that way. Until you're satisfied uh, with the shadow. So Because we want it fading like the closer it gets. So we'll go for something like that. And... With the shadow for the trophies as well, you can just hit beef your brush tool and just paint maybe there just to give it a little bit of fade. Okay, so with Brady, then the uh, final edits for Brady, what we can do is we can add an adjustment layer, go to hue, saturation. Okay, I'm going to saturate them a little bit. So if you look on the Emilio Sansolino one. Okay, I bumped it up to about eight. Okay, and this slider here, because of his skin tone, what I've done is, if you drop it down to minus eight, it kind of brings out the reddish redness of his skin, um, and again, just accentuates that saturation. If you're using a black player or a black footballer, soccer player or whatever, okay, that might be a little bit different. So just play around with that slider. Um, it's entirely if you up to you if you want to do that. So. Right, he's done that. I'm going to um, clip it as well. And then I'm also going to add a new layer above Brady. So just call that Brady. Okay, and this layer this is going to be our dodge and burn layer. So if you're familiar with my tutorials, you should know it. So new layer, image, no, edit, fill, 50% grade, normal, 100%. Click OK. Change the blend mode to overlay. Okay, go to your dodge and burn tool. I start with burn, keep it the range on midtones, the exposure 15%. Okay, and it really gives that 3D effect. So start with the helmet. All right, and I'm just going to go around, keeping in mind that the shadow is over on the high right. I'm just going to start to give that 3D effect.
Okay, so I've done a little bit there uh, with the burn tool and go to the doge. So what settings do I use? Make sure you've got the range highlights, exposure 10%. And um, that's just what I like to work with. Okay, and literally just make sure you're not going over uh, what you've just done. I would really, uh, really say take your time. And if you really do take your time, okay, you can smoothen out his skin. Um, any of these white parts, uh, the creases in his jersey. Just uh, highlights them. Uh, especially like on these on the back bits of the boots as well. And on his heel. And just underneath his arm there. And then that side, why not? Okay, you see the difference it's making there. Um, okay, I'm not going to go OTT. And with Brady again, a new layer should already be uh, linked. Okay, select back, black, press D on your keyboard if you want to. Hit B for your brush tool. Okay, and just add a little bit of uh, shading just there and on the helmet maybe. Just a fraction, just maybe a bit too much there. Um, cut that shadow and then to finish it off what we're going to do is we're going to bring in this lens flare okay got this uh, from PSD box it's a YouTube channel uh, go check it out it's absolutely brilliant um, I'll include that as well but because of this we just need to get a layer mask and we just need to get rid of that so if you notice I changed the blend mode to screen so that gets rid of the uh, the black. Command T. Make it nice and small. I'm going to put this up on his shoulder. Use your arrow keys. And I'm going to bend it round. Something like that. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Duplicate. In fact. Go up. It's messed up my thing. There you go. Make sure it's the top layer. Sorry. Command J. And then let's put it on his hand somewhere. Okay, Command T, hold Alt down. And that is pretty much it. There we go, there's a there's our tutorial. Appreciate uh I rushed it a little little a little bit. Okay, but um take your time. Get the uh, get the shadowing and the shading right and the dodge and burn uh, on your player. And I think maybe looking back now, this one was a little bit darker, which I'm not sure. I can't decide which one's the best. I'll post one of them up as a thumbnail anyway on my uh, Instagram page at TB Photoshop Tutorials. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial. If you did, please hit like. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Go check out my other content. If you're brand new to Photoshop. Okay, I've got a uh, playlist full of basic Photoshop tutorials uh, to help you learn Photoshop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a tutorial very soon.